Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and this is the Frontline Changes Report. Again, a lot of important massive changes. I like to use the word massive because I, I, I have I, I am a vocabulary division. So so I can use big, massive, epic, but the, the the reality is massive still seems to match what I feel, no, when I look at the changes. So we have frontline changes over at uh Kivka. Near Hrykhorivka in the Serebransky Forestry, Sperne, Novo Oleksandrivka, Yechenivka, Sokyu Kalivka, and Konstantinivka. So we're going to go into Konstantinivka uh, over at the Sviatovay front. So uh, this is Sviatovay. Oh, give me that. Forgot to summon the arrow. So the, this is Sviatovay. And uh, over at Stemakivka, the, the Russian forces have been geolocated. located Basically, at the at very end of this forest line, basically confirms that the Russian forces have get nearer and nearer to Stemakivka. In fact, they're just on the outskirt. They're just a skip away, basically around 200 meters away. So you no know, 200 meter dash across the, the, the grassland and they'll be inside uh, Stemakivka. So this attack is going to come soon. The battle of Stemakivka is going to start. Uh, if the Russians are able to hold their position over at this forest line. The next front line change uh, over at the Serebransky forestry. So at this area here, based on the pro-Russian um, uh, channel on Telegram called Step Red Maps, uh, they actually, the the actual full name is something something else. But anyway, uh, they have disclaimed, based on their mapping, they have basically disclaimed that uh, this entire area here. This is based, This is actually a Russian claim, and uh, this claim has been uh, here for a long, long time. This uh, apparently the Russians are no longer here anymore. The Ukrainian forces have retaken these positions near Krykorivka, and the front line is now aligned to most of where the Ukrainian mapping actually shows. So this uh, this is a pretty big uh, chunk of change, uh, but it is the forest region. It is no forest tree so we shall see how this goes you know a lot of elf living there uh oh, moving south into the civil front at the spurney region russian defense ministry claimed the capture of spurney and uh, this is a very weird uh capture because uh based on the the ribas mapping the they see they say the front line change is over here this is where the russian forces actually made uh, progress in the area of spurney however if you look at the settlement uh, or the region, Spurney looks something like this. The Russians are hardly across to the other side. The only way to really you know, read this is that the Ukrainian forces basically have withdrawn from this area here. Uh, the, all the buildings here are flattened, like entirely flattened. There's no place to hide. And uh, this entire tree line is also shot through. There is basically not, nowhere to hide. So I think as a result, I think the Ukrainian forces withdrew from this position as they can no longer hold it. And if you zoom in a bit, this, you can see this is a pretty updated uh, uh, satellite imagery. You can see all the buildings are basically you know, totally destroyed. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. So I think this is probably the main reason, which means that the next jump from the Russia, for the Russian side once they have captured these areas here, they can secure this area. I think the next jump will be pretty big. It's going to be like something like this. Uh, the the fighting will reach all the way to Ivano Darivka with a massive push in this direction towards Ivano Darivka. I think this is going to be the next jump because there's basically no place to hide for the Ukrainian forces. Uh, you no know, or a nearer frontline position to to hold a position. So it's going to be uh, a big change uh, in the very, very near future. The next frontline change after Spurney uh, is over at the at DFK front, over at Novo Oleksandrivka. And, and as you can see already, uh, there are some massive, 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 massive changes around here. So uh, Russia, so I once I zoom in, I can't even cover it all. So uh, at Novo, uh, Novo Oleksandrivka, Russian forces have expanded their control over in the southern part of the settlement which the Russians have captured and uh, they have stomped into the trenches around here Ukrainian forces are still holding the other half and the Russian forces have taken all the tr all the trenches south of this position along the tree lines and uh, this is quite a number quite a big amount of uh, ground taken and uh, so the next battles will be the tree lines 
and uh, the Russian Defense Ministry, uh, as of this moment, have announced that they have captured Novo Oleksandrivka. This is based on the Russian Defense Ministry's report. So they have acknowledged the Ukrainian claims that Novo Oleksandrivka has been captured by the Russian forces. Over in the south, uh, the Sokyu region, so Russian forces continue to expand their control around Sokyu, and uh, they have started to attack into Yekhanivka and Voskhod. Uh, and, uh, and there's huge amount of changes in north of Sokyu. They, they managed to capture a lot of grounds all around here. And I just want, I want to zoom in a little bit to talk about this, but massive, massive amount of changes. Uh, if I zoom in a bit, you can see that uh, the Russian forces taken the entire uh, tree line around here and taken the heavy entrenchment. They are still trying to advance along the railway line. And along the way, they have taken yet another of this uh, heavy entrenchment around here. And they have attacked into this uh, something like a river, gully, valley kind of thing and attack into the another trench line around here. There's still another Ukrainian position here. So these are the Ukrainian positions, uh, the heavy defensive positions, but the Russians are getting close to it. So if I zoom, go down a bit, you can see that this entire area here, this entire uh, river system or valley or gully has been uh, taken by the Russian forces and they and there is this trench leading all the way to this position. So this, this uh, gully region here must be heavily defended and the, the Russians basically have overrun it. Ukraine forces hold, if they are here would face very very fierce fighting uh, but you no know, if you you have to fight somewhere so they have to choose where to fight and uh, and at Yekhanivka you can see that the Russian forces basically have entered into Yekhanivka uh, officially and uh, with and with all this capture I can now also you know, confirm that uh, Sokyu has been captured by the Russian forces. And uh, interestingly, I never seen anyone re reported that Sokyu is captured. So I would say that you no, know, based on this, I would just put it as Sokyu. Russian forces captured Sokyu. Uh, yeah, let's do this. And then uh, the team. So we go to. Put it, give it the flag, and then uh, you now see the flag is planted on Sokyu right now because uh, Sokyu is effectively captured. The, this kind of frontline change, uh, you know, is this gone. There's no more Sokyu left. It's fully captured. So the battle has now entered into Yekhanivka, and they are going to go into uh, Vishhot. Is it Voshhot? Voshgod? Oh, no. So this is basically, you know, very. They they just you know apart one just one small little river apart so you know they they are basically more or less the same town so so the battle is now onto these locations and uh, the next front line change after Sokyu will be at Kalivka so further south in the Adyevka front at Kalivka Russian forces have now enter into uh, Kalivka itself uh, at the most uh, eastern outs. Uh, eastern positions in this uh, Dacha region, Russian forces have crossed over and entered into this area. So the Battle of Kalevka has begun. Russian forces continue to make the advance around here. I think the target would be to secure all this uh, along the river here. I'm not sure if they want to go further into the Dachas again, but let's see how this uh, developed by the Russian side. And the last frontline change is over at Konstantinivka. So over at the region of uh, Donetsk Front at the Konstantinivka, Novo Mihailivka region, south of Paraskovievka, Russian forces geolocated to be in assault in the direction of Konstantinivka. And this confirms the Russian position. Uh, Russians have uh, taken uh, more ground south of Paraskovievka, uh, corroborating some of these uh, 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 Russian claims, and which means that they are going to enter into Konstantinivka uh, very, very soon, within the next one day, two days, if they continue with, continue to attack at this intensity. So um, so this is the frontline change over at Konstantinivka, and uh, that's about it. I think this is all the frontline changes report for the past 24 hours for the 30th of June. We are into July, so no, it's a new one again. So thank you for watching. Do press the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next update. Press the like button.